dual language. Description by Diana Rivera. Dual language, formerly called bilingual education, refers to academic programs that are taught in two languages. Students who usually come from non-English speaking backgrounds, who are not proficient in English and who require specialized or modified language instruction are usually those who are English language learners, who will more, li more commonly be in dual language programs. Dual language programs ensure that non-English speaking students or students who are not yet proficient in English are given equitable opportunities to succeed in and complete their education. Different types of dual language. Transitional program. Provided students instruction in their primary language before they transition into English-only instructional programs. Maintenance program. Provide students with concrete instruction in English and their primary language throughout their elementary years with the goal of developing English fluency and academic literacy in both languages. Two-way. To teach both native and non-native English speakers in two languages to develop bilingual fluency. Dual language programs include dual language curriculum and instruction. The curriculum is typically presented bilingually and may be divided into distinct blocks of time. Example, day one in English, day two in Spanish, day three in English, etc. Instruction typically does not include straight translation from language to language. Teachers move through the curriculum as they would in any English-only course. Students in dual language programs are generally required to meet the same learning standards and graduation requirements as other students. Bilingual teachers and instructional staff. Dual language evaluation. When possible or required, students entering dual language programs will be tested in English and their primary language to determine their proficiency level in English and their first language. Culturally and linguistically relevant learning materials. When available, students are given text, video, software, applications, tests, and other instructional resources that are produced in their primary language, which may also include content and references that reflect the student's specific cultural background dual language assessment and accommodations. They may also be given various testing accommodations such as bilingual dictionaries or additional time to complete a test. Bilingual orientation. Incoming students and their families may be provided some form of orientation, particularly if the students are recent, recently arrived immigrants or refugees who are unfamiliar with the expectations and culture of American public schools. Benefits for the Hispanic students using dual language by Maria Topia. The average of ELL students in schools is rapidly growing over the years in the country. Many believe that ELL students are only the children of Hispanic immigrant people, but that's not true as proven by research. 6% of all school-aged children have problems speaking the second language. Since 79% of ELL speak Spanish at home, 20% speak one of 400 other languages. Here in our region, we do have a vast majority of the need of ELL programs in schools to help our children learn the second language, which is English. The benefits of dual language in Hispanics. Dual language programs educate both English language learners and any other language. Dual language for our children is the key of success in education in all grade levels. It fosters average progress on grade level instructions in schools. Children benefit themselves cognitively, linguistically, and culturally. Cognitive stimulus of schooling in two languages.
Students having dual language in their education benefits their quality of learning strategies in both languages. Students benefit themselves in vocabulary and concepts through pictures, graphics, and videos used by this program. The students will have more opportunities of progressing in life with, no with knowing two languages opposed to just one. They also benefit from being able to use technology to express themselves. Research shows technology helps ELL students find a voice, easing the transition to a new language. Challenges Faced by Students by Santos Cantu Staffing A lack of properly qualified teachers Program knowledge Inadequate teacher preparation for implementation of the program Teachers are not properly prepared for the practice out on the field and those who are exist in short supply Materials and resources. Lack of proper materials and resources. Many immersion programs lack the necessary resources and bilingual specialists to provide appropriate instructional support, assessment, and interventions. Scheduling. Middle and high school proper inclusion of the program. While elementary might not have this issue, higher education does. The program schedule is hard to be set to those in middle school or high school. Students' proper use of both languages. Teachers notice the second language being used most of the time. Beginning fifth grade, students tend to use the second language even more than their considered native language. This is an issue because this program's goal is to create dual language students. Studies indicate that the result of this program is that students tend to have more oral language issues. Interview by Jessica Torres this is Mr. Antonio Monreal. He's a seventh grade Texas history teacher and he's in the dual language program. Okay, what are some of the negative negativity or challenges that the program has faced by the public? The negativity is mainly is not the public, mainly is the teachers that don't like the dual language in the campuses. They want for the classes to be all English, that they need to learn English and every, I think everybody has a chance to, to choose what they want to study. But the, the, they, they, have a, they need to make a choice for the program that they, especially those that want to be fully bilingual. Okay. Have you all had any issues with the funding? Funding? The funding, there's no problem with the funding. The funding is there. The problem is that sometimes we don't have the material because the material is in English and some teachers, most of the teachers have to translate their own lessons. Okay. Uh, do you receive or do you have problems receiving or not receiving funding? No, we don't have any problems receiving funding. The funding mm -hmm. is there. Okay. Um, do you have any, the, the parents have any concern for the dual language program? The, only the ones that think that there's going to affect them, they take them out of the dual language. But that's a mistake because they have, I mean, they, they have to give it a chance because the program starts since elementary. And once they get to sixth grade, they think that there's, there's, there's students that are not going to make it, that they're going to fail the exams, but actually they're the, one, uh, the dual language students are the ones that perform better. That's right. Okay. Uh, any experiences you want to share with the program? It's a, it's a challenging program, like I say, because you need, to ch uh, you need to translate your lessons. We don't have that much material, but it's we still come ahead. And there's some teachers that call themselves dual language teachers, and they supposed to teach the class in English, I mean Spanish, but they end up teaching the class in English because they're not fully bilingual themselves. Okay, that's it. 
Okay, so he's a, a sixth, seventh grade teacher from Liberty Middle School, PSJISD. Thank you. And Jessica was my student. Yes, long time ago. Long, long time ago.